mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello everybody YouTube, welcome back, I'm The Real Andy of Beverly Hills and guys, it is time to talk about New York City, Real Houses of New York City because we have some tea and it probably, it might be true and we need to talk about it but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel do it right now if you're new here and you want to join the very troop subscribe 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 and hit the notification bell guys and let's talk about this mess so this is officially a blind item you know it was um submitted by dumois but it's all about like uh new york city you know like real houses of new york city so it's not like we need to like think oh my god who is this person no like this is literally about real houses of new york and how they're they're start working on production now it's probably not gonna happen this year i mean i i think they're probably gonna start filming this year but we already know for a fact that we are not getting real housewife of new york till 2023 that's just it you know like we have to live with a 2022 without new york which is very sad i mean i will be very surprised if they end up like doing something but then if if it premiere this year i will say probably like november or december like really like pushing it all the way till 2023 right um which honestly you know I love New York. I think, I mean, New York is one of those OGs, uh, C's, um, franchises, you know, and the fact that because all the shit that went down last season, they had to do this whole reboot. It kind of made me, of course, like upset and annoyed, but then I'm thinking like, you know, maybe it was time. Maybe, you know, you know how many, um, franchises are, are going through like a rebirth you know, and they're trying to, like, really, like, bring into, you know, 2022 and, like, change for good, you know. So, I mean, I will have to wait and see the new season to see if all this wait is going to be actually worth it. But, for example, it ha well, it happened with Orange County. We didn't have to wait, two like, almost two years for it, but they reboot the whole season. They took the trash out except for Elizabeth Vargas, who should, needs to be back. But anyways, um, and now they brought this new season and it felt organically amazing. And I'm hearing that, for example, Atlanta, they did the same thing. They completely reboot the whole thing. And reboot doesn't mean fire everyone and bring a bunch of new people. Reboot means like, like, change the idea, bring fresh ideas, new people, new product, uh, behind the cameras, you know, production, and, and you know, like, guide these ladies in a different way, and I'm hearing that actually next season of Atlanta could be one of the best season of Atlanta ever. Oh my god, I think my dogs are killing each other. Well, my husband is out there, so it's fine. It's my chihuahua. Uh, but anyways, you know, chihuahuas hate everyone. Um, anyways, so I'm hearing that Atlanta is, um, is going to be one of the best season ever. So I'm hoping that this whole thing with New York is actually going to work out. Okay. Now, let's go to the T. So this was Submit to Dumois. And it says, uh, Anon, please. New York City shakeup. Real Housewife of New York season 14 is a slowly emphasis on a slowly starting to take shape. At the moment, three of the current cast of six are potentially coming back. Expect one or two OG's vet returns and two to three new Vs. New York City is back. Don't expect B to be a part of this shakeup. Girl, I mean, 
First of all, I'm loving that they already talking about a big cast, okay? Because this whole five people bullshit, I was like, no, we need to have at least seven to eight housewife, okay? Because we need storylines and we need drama. Now, they are saying, they are saying that um, at the moment, three of the current cast are potentially coming back. I hear another rumor that Ebony Williams will not be coming back next season. So I'm thinking that's going to be out. Okay. And even though I know you don't like Leah Max, some of you don't like Leah McSweeney, I'm hearing that she's actually, I mean, set to come back next season. Now I'm thinking, okay, the other two then will definitely have to be between Ramona, Luan, and Sonia. Okay. I'm so sorry, but if I have to choose between the three of them, I will choose Luan and Sonia. Ramona, I think her time is up. Yes, she was great TV. Yes, she was, I mean, crazy. And we have talked, shared about Ramona a lot, but she went to the dark side. I mean, she did a, a whole bunch of bullshit, but she's also like, she's going to be 64 by the time you know and i don't know maybe maybe that's her this is her time you know maybe it's just time to like retire gracefully and just do you and it is what it is right and i mean we need sonia you know that we need sonia rita okay so bravo better not be fucking with or sonia and um luan i mean even though she doesn't have a storyline I could, I could have another season of Luan, especially after Ultimate Girls Trip. I really kind of like like her again. So I will definitely bring Luan back. So that will be the three, um, the three current cast members. Now it says expect one or two OGs vets uh, to return. Now, I'm thinking that they are probably going to try to bring back Jill Sering. Just because she's going to be on season two of, of Ultimate Girl Strip, I think that Jill Sering is going to be back. And it's, if, if we are honest, they definitely need to bring Dorinda back, right? Like, it kind of like, it will make sense. You know, like, we need Dorinda back at this point, okay? Yeah, they already played without Dorinda. We, they, they, no more punish her. Just bring her back. You know, just screw it over. You know, just let's forget for. Get all that mess and just bring Dorinda back because we need it. So let's say we have Leah McSweeney, Sonia Morgan, Luan De La Seps, Dorinda, and Jill Sharon. That's five right there. And then we have two to three newbies, which I'm guessing will be two newbies. So they could give us a seven cast and maybe a friend of the show. I'm here for it. And in these two, of course, they're probably going to bring... A black cast member to replace um, Ebony, and I'm also hearing that they're really trying to look into like a powerful Latina uh, New Yorker, uh, like kind of like uh, not Jennifer Lopez, but like th that kind of like vibe, you know. Uh, so like Puerto Rican, or um, there is a lot of like Latin influence in New York too. Um, so. You know, they can, that's how they will di diversify because they cannot bring Bershon and Ebony to become like a diversified cast after everything that, you know, went down and then come back to a bunch of white ladies again. Okay. So they will have their five white ladies. Then I will definitely say that these two are probably going to be um, uh, diverse cast members okay now i'm also here somewhere that they were actually thinking of giving another shot to version um i don't know if that's gonna be like a friend of the show again um she she didn't i mean she didn't fit with the old cast but i'm thinking if if we bring a group of fun ladies you know who are actually having fun I think actually Bershon could make something happen. So let's see. Uh, let's wait and see what is going to happen. Anyways, so that's it. That's the whole uh, information that we have so far. I'm very excited. You know, like I'm okay that they are taking their time as long as they're going to bring us a great season 14. Because if they take all this time and they brought bring us a bullshit season, we're just going to be done. 
So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Who you think is coming back? Who you think they are the OGs, the new ones? Like, I don't know. Give me all your ideas for season 14 of The Real Housewife of New York. Like, who will be your dream seven cast uh, members for next season? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. And I'll see you in an hour. See ya. Bye.